The Chicago Sun-Times is now joining the list of those calling on Illinois Senator Roland Burris to step down, saying his Senate colleague Dick Durbin needs to be the one to ask Burris to quit. The newspaper also just reported uh, that Senator Burris actually had more contact with former Governor Rod Blagojevich's team than he originally disclosed, that he was lobbying hard for the Senate job. Burris admitted he did try to raise money for the now impeached governor while he was also going after that Senate seat, the one that belonged to President Obama. Burris continues to insist he did nothing wrong. Take a listen. 30 years in public life and never a hint of a scandal. And in all that time in service to Illinois, I never asked for anything in return until today. I ask you today to stop the rush to judgment. You know the real Roland. I've done nothing wrong, and I have absolutely nothing to hide. Joining us now is Congressman Phil Hare, an Illinois Democrat. He is calling for Burris' resignation, the first in the Illinois delegation to do so. Congressman, thanks for being here. Um, what about the Sun-Times uh, suggestion uh, that Senator Durbin should be the one to tell Burris to go? Well, I'm going to leave that up to Sen you know, Senator Durbin. I, I feel bad because I think had the initial uh, testimony that that Roland gave before the the impeachment panel, if this had been the, the testimony, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in today. So I know the senator was overseas, and you know I don't want to tell him how to run his his business. I just believe, as I said earlier, that you know this is a man who said he never had contact with any of these people, didn't know them, had only had one contact with Lon Monk. And now it keeps growing and growing and growing, and the people of my district and the state have had enough, and I, for one, uh, have had enough with him. And I think he ought to do the decent thing, and that is resign his Senate seat, and I would do it immediately. I don't think that Senator Durbin ought to be in a position of having to ask him to step down. I think Roland Burris should be in the position of looking in the mirror, understanding this is serious, and I think he ought to do the right thing and, and, and leave office. But the question is, will he? I mean, what we saw with Governor Blagojevich, he wouldn't. Well, you know that's up to that's up to Roland. I hope he'll you know he'll do the right thing. If he doesn't, then I then I think the Senate has you know certain procedures that they can go through through the Senate Ethics Committee uh, that I know has started. But you know this is sad. I mean here we are, a state with great people, and we just had uh, a disgraced governor impeached. I said from the very beginning that no matter who this particular uh, who the governor appointed. Uh, the person shouldn't be appointed to the Senate because clearly this is a governor who doesn't re respect the dignity of the office, didn't respect the people of the state, and quite frankly should have been removed sooner. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, I'm disappointed because I listened to the first round of testimony from Senator Burris, and I thought, well, okay, after hearing that, there didn't seem to be anything that, that uh, I had a problem with. Then we saw the affidavit about, in fact, who we met with, and now raising money, and now additional things coming out, maybe somebody's son getting uh, lobbied to get a job, that he actively was lobbying for this job for weeks and weeks. And, you know, the, the people of my district, you know, as you said earlier, I, I may be the only one, but, you know, I'm standing up with the people of my district in this state. I just left the meeting with even some business people, and they said, this is just, we can't take this anymore. Yeah, Congressman, I'm, I'm from Illinois, so I guess I, I get a pass to say this, but maybe this isn't only an Illinois story. Danny Davis, who's a colleague of yours in the House, said, you know, <clears throat> I've known Roland a long time. People have often laughed and joked at how honest he is. I mean, is it only in Illinois that that would be funny, that somebody is actually an honest politician? <laughs> well, you know, look, uh, uh, the jokes the jokes do bother me a lot because we have good, decent men and women on both sides of the aisle in the state legislature in our Illinois delegation. Danny Davis is a friend of mine. He's one of the most decent people. You know, by the way, this Danny Davis was asked by the governor if he wanted the job, and he told the governor respectfully no because you're the one doing the appointing. Um, we have good people um, that can serve this state well, and, 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 you know, here we have people losing their homes. We're trying to get money from the stimulus bill in. We're $9 billion upside down on our state budget. We're doing everything we can to try to fix this economy as quickly as we can. Now we've got the junior senator under investigation from the Sagamon County State's Attorney, yeah. the House Ethics Committee, or the Senate Ethics Committee. We, we just don't need this right now. It is the last thing uh, anybody needs. Uh, Congressman Phil Hare uh, calling for Roland Burris to resign. Congressman, thanks for your time. We should point out, too, how hard it is well, to, to get uh, a senator out of